Ever felt like you're just too nice, too agreeable, and it seems like it gets you nowhere? We're about to embark on a journey into the insightful pages of No More Mr. Nice Guy by Dr. Robert Glover. This enlightening book takes a deep dive into the concept of being too nice and the pitfalls it presents in men's lives, both personally and professionally. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're bending over backwards to please others, only to be left feeling unfulfilled and undervalued? If so, you're not alone. No More Mr. Nice Guy delves into this phenomenon, exploring why it happens and providing actionable solutions to break free from this pattern. Dr. Glover's work is a beacon, guiding those who feel trapped by their own niceness to a path of self-discovery and empowerment. So, are you ready to challenge the status quo of what it means to be a nice guy? Let's dive into the world of Dr. Glover's No More Mr. Nice Guy and uncover its wisdom. What is the nice guy syndrome, you ask? Let's dive right in. In Dr. Robert Glover's seminal work, No More Mr. Nice Guy, he introduces the concept of the nice guy syndrome, a pattern of behavior that many men fall into. It's not about being kind or considerate, as the name might suggest. No, it's a harmful cycle where men suppress their needs and desires in an attempt to gain approval. These are men who believe that if they are nice, they will be loved, their needs will be met, and they will have a smooth, problem-free life. But it's not all roses. This syndrome often leads to unfulfilling relationships, low self-esteem, and a lack of authenticity. Common misconceptions? That being a nice guy equates to being a good man. But what we learn from Dr. Glover is that it's about being real, not nice. And the consequences? They are severe. The nice guy syndrome, a silent struggle for many men. Ever wondered how nice guys are made? Let's delve into the intricate process of their creation. As outlined in the next chapter of Dr. Robert Glover's insightful book, No More Mr. Nice Guy. The societal fabric we're woven into plays a prominent role in the development of the nice guy syndrome. From an early age, societal norms and expectations subtly coax us into conforming to the nice guy mold. But it's not just societal pressures, our families too have a hand in this. We're often conditioned by our family dynamics and the expectations laid upon us, leading us to suppress our true selves and adopt the nice guy persona. Childhood experiences are yet another influential factor. These early life experiences, both pleasant and traumatic, shape our perceptions, our responses, and ultimately our personalities. So, the making of a nice guy isn't a simple overnight process. It's a complex interplay of societal pressures, familial expectations, and personal experiences. From societal pressures to personal experiences, the creation of a nice guy is multifaceted. Ready to break free from the nice guy syndrome? The final chapter of Dr. Robert Glover's No More Mr. Nice Guy lays the blueprint for your liberation. Here, Dr. Glover underscores the importance of self-care. This isn't about self-indulgence or narcissism, rather, it's about nurturing your physical, emotional, and mental health. It's about making yourself a priority. Next, Dr. Glover advises setting boundaries. It's not about being aloof or uncaring, but about respecting your own space and time. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Set healthy limits for your own well-being. Embracing masculine energy is another key aspect of breaking free. It's about acknowledging and owning your inherent strength courage and leadership. It's about celebrating your masculinity without apology. Self-improvement and personal growth are the cornerstones of this journey. It's about evolving, learning, and striving to be the best version of yourself. Breaking free from the nice guy syndrome, it's about reclaiming your life. So, what can we take away from No More Mr. Nice Guy? In our journey through Dr. Robert Glover's insightful book, we've discovered the insidious nice guy syndrome. It's a condition where men, in their pursuit to be liked and loved, suppress their needs, compromise their values, and hide their imperfections, often leading to frustration and unfulfillment. We've also delved into the roots of this syndrome, tracing it back to childhood influences and societal pressures. It's important to understand that being a nice guy is often a coping mechanism rather than a true reflection of one's character. Most importantly, we've discussed how to break free from this cycle. It's about embracing our authentic selves and asserting our needs without guilt or fear. It's about breaking away from the need to please everyone else and starting to please ourselves. And here's the key. It's not about becoming less nice. It's about becoming more authentically you. Remember, it's not about being less nice, it's about being more you.